How has all of your research, Lee, helped you in, in your explanation or your defense of Christianity and your apologetics? Well, we live in a scientific and technological age. There's no question about that. And so science has pretty much become a religion. Uh, that's a, true. It's like, follow the science, follow. That's the big mantra these days. Well, let's follow the science. I agree. Let's follow the science. What is the conclusion? And I say science when done right, it ought to be the pursuit of truth. Linus Pauling, who won two Nobel prizes, say, said science should be the pursuit of truth. I agree with that. And, and I believe the science when done right points powerfully and persuasively toward the existence of a creator who just happens to match the description of the God of the Bible. That was a powerful step for me in my journey toward God. It wasn't all I needed because it only told me that there is a God, there is a creator. I needed to go further and look at whether or not Jesus uh, is the son of God who proved it by returning from the dead. So it wasn't enough just to look at science. You need to look at history and the evidence of history as well. But I encourage people to investigate the science. Um, there are so many good books out there now. Uh, Dr. Stephen Meyer, who uh, got his PhD on the origin of the universe from Cambridge University, uh, is writing some wonderful books on this topic of how science points toward God. Uh, many other scientists are continuing to make discoveries that continue to support that conclusion. This is an exciting time, Jerry, to be alive. Uh, we ought to be thankful that we're alive in the 21st century when science is telling us that Romans 1 verse 20 is right. Uh, when it says that when we look at creation, we see the invisible qualities of God manifest in creation, his creativity, his power, and so forth. 